I'm Matt Pichard with REIT.com here in San Francisco for REIT World 2013. Joining me for this CEO Spotlight is Tony Malkin, the Chairman, President and CEO of Empire State Realty Trust. Tony, thanks so much for joining us today. Delighted to be here. I'd like to start by, you know, obviously talking about the big news, the IPO. It yeah. was quite a, quite a long and, and uh, eventful journey to get there. What's been your response to, to the offering and how the market's responded since? You know, it, it's been actually terrific. The great thing about our action and our activity over time is that we fulfilled exactly what the investors asked us to do. Uh, they voted for a consolidation and an IPO. Uh, we went through what was an arduous process, very interesting by the way, really was, and uh, now we're public and we're thrilled. And we've got fantastic investors and we're actually thrilled to be here at, at REIT World. Now there's uh, a, a number of listed REITs own you know, some high profile uh, trophy assets, Probably not quite, quite as much as, as the Empire State Building. Well, what are some of, of, of the biggest positives and negatives to having such an iconic property tied to the company's name? And do you get the, uh, are, are any investors surprised to find out you own more than just the Empire State Building? Well, you know, I, I think actually uh, we have a very sophisticated investor base. Uh, the dedicated REIT investor is a very knowledgeable investor. Uh, we did not uh, do a tremendous amount of, of, of retail in our IPO. Uh, we have uh, some very, very cream of the crop uh, dedicated REIT investors. Um, we've got two folks who uh, requested waivers who we granted them. So at this point we have two investors who own more than 13 percent of the company. And uh, for these folks, uh, it's really, uh, it's not about the, the, the image of the Empire State Building. It's about nuts and bolts. It's about the performance that we have and the performance that they they think there may be in the future. Uh, they made a vote as to our management. They made a vote as to what we have done to date. Uh, and they made a vote as to what our plans are. So, you know, I don't think it's a surprise to them that one of the assets in which they are invested is the Empire State Building. But they sure know, and you know, we had 51 individual investor groups take tours of our portfolio. Uh, one actually on his pedometer said that he went over five miles, so he's very knowledgeable about what we've got. And, and lastly, now, now that the IPO is out of the way, what are the near-term plans for the company? You know, we're going to execute on our strategy as we laid out to investors. Uh, we believe it's very important for us to make good on, on what we said. We've got properties that are below uh, market occupancy. We've got rents in place below market rents in a fair amount of, of, of our portfolio. We've demonstrated to date that we can turn those lower rents into higher rents and we can create vacancy and then lease it up. And really, we just intend to stick to our knitting and demonstrate that we can perform uh, and be a good public company. And then we'll see where we go from there. Tony, thank you so much for joining us today. A pleasure, thank you. For more on this and other REIT news and analysis, be sure to visit REIT.com. <laughs>